In this video, we're going to work a complete problem of converting a regular expression to a DFA. We're going to start by writing down the regular expression, converting that to an NFA, and then converting that to a DFA. So the problem we're going to work is x followed by x or y star or z. So some strings that would be accepted by that would be just just z by itself, or just x by itself, or uh, x, x. How about uh, x, y, x would be okay. Uh, x, y, y. Um, basically x followed by any combination of x's and y's, or just a z by itself. So let's convert that to an NFA first, and we're going to use the um, transformation rules that we came up with in other videos. Uh, we're going to start by looking at this and breaking this down into two parts. What I see here is uh, the whole part on the left, x, uh, x or y star, uh, and then the part on the right with just a z. So I'm going to start by writing down two states. First one is my accepting, uh, excuse me, my starting. Next one is my accepting, and then across the bottom is z, and across the top is the x followed by x or y star. And now we have to break up the top part into constituent components, and I see x as being one component and then the x or y star as being another. So that comes down to being three states. x on the left, and then the x or y star on the right, and then the uh, or z across the bottom. And then we need to break that apart again into more states. So we've got x on the left here. And then we have, let's, let's make this whole thing be our star. So that becomes four states. First one is an epsilon. The last one is an epsilon. We've got an epsilon going across the bottom. And then one coming back. And then this one in the middle here, this is our x or y, like that. And then all the way across the bottom is z. And then next would be to number these states, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number 1 is our starting state, make that in turquoise here. and. Uh, Last one is our ending state, number five. Okay, next next step here is to convert this into a chart. So our chart is going to have one through five down the left. One, two, three, four, four, and five. And across the top is going to be each one of the transitions that we have, which, which we have uh, x, y, and z and also a column for epsilon star. Now, let's fill this out. Let's go with uh, from state number one on an x, we can go to two. On a y, we go nowhere. And on a z, we go to five. Uh, two on an x, we go nowhere. On a y, nowhere. And on a z, nowhere. Three on an x, we go to four. On a y, we go to a 4, and on a z, nowhere. 4 is nowhere for x, y, and z, and 5 is also nowhere on x, y, and z. And then we'll fill out the epsilon star column. So a 1 goes to itself, 2 goes to itself, and can also go to 3, and a 2 can also go to a 5, and from the 5 can also go to a 3. So again, the 2 can go to itself, it can go to 3, it can go to 5, and 5 can also go to 3. So we'll put 2, 3, 5 down for that one. 3 can only go to itself on uh, 0 or more epsilons. 4 can go to itself, it can also go to 5, and 5 can go to 3. So 4, 5, 3 for that one. And then 5 can only go to itself. So this chart here 
completely encapsulates all the information out of our NFA diagram on the left. Next will be to convert this chart into one that uh, will lead us to our DFA. So let's make another let's make another grid here. Now, oh, I forgot one step, and that step is to identify the starting state here and to identify the accepting one, which is 5. Now in our new chart, we're going to start by writing down the starting state, which is 1, and across the top we're going to write down x epsilon star, y epsilon star, z uh, epsilon star, and then we're going to start filling this out. So, uh, starting from 1, where can we go if we follow an x followed by 0 or more epsilon? So to figure that out, we look at this chart. We start at 1. Following an x, we go to 2. Look down at the 2 row, and then look across to the e, the epsilon star column, and write down whatever you see there. So that's going to be 2, 3, 5. And do the same thing for y epsilon star and z epsilon star. So from state number 1, following a y up, we see there's nothing there, so just draw a blank. And then 1, uh, following a z, says we go to a 5, so look down at the 5, and then write down whatever you see under the epsilon star column, and that should be 5. Now look to see if you've added anything new. Here we've added 2, 3, 5, and we've added 5, so we need to add that to the left-hand side. So we're going to add 2, 3, 5, and we're going to add 5 down on the left hand side. Okay, next is from states 2, 3, or 5, following an x, and then 0 or more epsilons, where do we end up? So let's look at 2, 3, 5. So here's 2, here's 3, here's 5. Following an x, we look at what we've got here. We've got blank, 4, blank. So from 2, 3, or 5, we can go to 4, and then 4, we can go to 4, 5, 3. So again, 2, 3, 5. Look at under the x column, we uh, see just a 4, so look across to a 4, and then over to the epsilon star column and write down whatever you see there, 4, 5, 3. And then do the same thing for y epsilon star and z epsilon star, so again 2, 3, and 5. We'll look under the y column and we see the 4 again zigzag over to the 4, and then across to 4, 5, 3. And then for z, look under two, th uh, look for 2, 3, 5. Under the z column, we just see all blanks, so uh, we just put a blank there. Now, we've added one new thing. We've added uh, 4, 5, 3, so we'll add that to the left-hand side. That should be 4, 5, 3. And we're just writing these down to, even though we haven't got to them yet, we're just going to write them down to kind of keep track of where we are and what we still have to do. This helps avoid mistakes in the, as we're doing this. Now, from a 5 following an x, uh, we see a blank there, so blank there. Uh, 5 following a y is blank, and 5 following a z is blank. That was easy. And then the last is the 4, f oh, we haven't added anything new, so nothing new to add over here. Now, 4, 5, 3. Uh, that's actually 3, 4, 5. So look at these three rows, 3, 4, 5. We see a 4 under the x, so zigzag over to the 4, and then write down whatever you see under the epsilon star. I see 4, 5, 3. Do the same thing for y. We'll look at 3, 4, 5. Look at y, I see a 4, zigzag over to 4, and then 4, 5, 3. And finally for z, 3, 4, 5, there's nothing under the Z column, so let's put that blank. And look at this row. Have we added anything new? No, we haven't. Everything we've got is right here. Everything in this middle part is on the left-hand side. So we are done with this chart, and now we're ready to convert that into our diagram. Oh, the last thing is identify what are the uh, starting states and the accepting states. The starting state is the one with a 1 in it, the same as our starting states up here. And the finishing or accepting states are any of them that have the accepting states from our original chart. So anywhere there's a 5, 
that is an accepting state, which means that 2, 3, 5 is an accepting, 5 is an accepting, and 4, 5, 3 is an accepting. So we have one starting state and three accepting states. Let's start with our 1 over here. Then we're going to put, let's see, we'll put a 2, 3, 5 there. And then uh, I think I'll make this one be our 5. And then we'll go with 4, 5, 3. And let's see where that takes us here. So from number 1, following an x, we can go to 2, 3, 5. And then following a, a, a z, we go to 5. From 2, 3, 5, following an x, we go to 4, 5, 3. And following a y, we go to a 4, 5, 3. So we got two transitions, both going from 2, 3, 5 to 4, 5, 3. Uh, 5 is our, uh, doesn't go anywhere. And then 4, 5, 3 on an x goes to itself. So we'll do a little loop there. And then 4, 5, 3 on y goes to itself. So we'll do a little loop there. And then we'll draw double circles around our accepting states. And a little arrow pointing to our beginning state. And that should be it for the diagram. Now let's double check and make sure that uh, everything in our list of strings that could be accepted are in fact accepted by this one. So let's start with just z. So if we've, uh, we're at state number one, we follow a z, we go to a five, perfect, we got it. So that one works. How about an x? Just following an x, we go to accepting, so that's good. x, x, so we go x, x, yes, that's good. Uh, x, y, x, we go x, y, x, perfect. And then x, y, y, that's perfect as well. So all of those work, and I think you'll find that any other string that you construct out of this regular expression will work as well. And uh, that's how you convert a regular expression to an NFA, make a chart that uh, has all the information from the NFA, convert that into a chart that converts that to a DFA, and then you are done.